Welcome to the fourth annual Undergraduate Scholars Conference in Israel Studies, hosted by the YNS Nazarian Center for Israel Studies at UCLA. I'm Dov Waxman, the director of the Nazarian Center and the Rosalind and Arthur Gilbert Foundation Chair of Israel Studies at UCLA. The mission of our center, the Nazarian Center for Israel Studies, is to promote the study of modern Israel at UCLA and beyond. And as part of that mission, we organize this conference every year to give undergraduate students an opportunity to present their own work and discuss their research on modern Israel from any academic discipline. Um, it's one of the highlights, I think, of the academic year for us to hear from students themselves about the kinds of work they're doing, the, the interesting and often original work that they're doing in many different disciplines. And it's really a wonderful opportunity, I think, for undergraduate students to share their work, to get feedback on their work, and to get a sense of uh, what it is to be a scholar of Israel studies, um, and also to get a sense of how diverse uh, the field of Israel studies is, that it is a, a, a field that draws upon work in many different disciplines, um, and is a really growing and innovative, I think, uh, field of study. Uh, so today, we have a total of 10 students presenting their work on three different panels uh, covering Zionist and Israeli history, Israeli politics, and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Um, as well as having students from UCLA, we also have students today from UC Berkeley, from Harvard University, from Emory University, and from McGill University. And I wanna especially welcome all of those students for joining us, because it's really uh, great to uh, be able to hear your work, which we're less familiar with. So welcome. Um, I hope you enjoy the conference. Uh, I wanna encourage all the student presenters uh, to attend all of the panels that we're holding them consecutively. So you can attend all of the panels, listen to your peers' work, uh, listen to the feedback they gave, give your own feedback, ask questions, uh, challenge them if you want, uh, obviously in a respectful manner, um, and, and hopefully, uh, you know, enjoy uh, presenting your work, uh, which is really, as I said, having, having read the papers, it's really uh, fantastic work and you should all be very proud of it. Uh, so our first panel is going to get away, underway in just a few minutes. Um, so I want to uh, give you all a little break before the panel gets underway. Uh, please join the first panel, which is going to be on Zionist and Israeli history before it begins. So uh, after this, uh, after I end my presentation, and then after all of the panels are over, I want to welcome you to encourage you to come back uh, at the very end for a brief closing ceremony uh, where I will say a few words and then uh, the award winners of best paper and runner up will be announced. Okay, so enjoy the conference. Good luck. Uh, please try and keep your presentations to no more than 10 minutes. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And I look forward to hearing all of your presentations. And I'll see you all in uh, just a couple of minutes. Um, one last thing, when we start the panels, if everybody can also introduce themselves, say a word about who they are, um, their work, what brought them to this, that would be great as well. Because apart from uh, hearing your work, it would also be interesting for all of us to get to know a little bit about you. So see you all soon. Thanks. Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, thank you for staying with us. I know we're slightly over time, so I'm gonna uh, try to be as brief as possible. Although being a professor, that's always difficult. Um, so I just wanna thank all of the students today for, for sharing their work and for, uh, for their excellent presentations for both the papers themselves uh, and for the presentations, which were really excellent and um, really innovative, really impressive body of scholarship on uh, an amazingly wide array of topics. Uh, I think it really demonstrates how uh, diverse and eclectic Israel studies can be, we've heard uh, topics from the, the Arab-Israeli conflict on campus, the liberalization of the Israeli economy, the evolution of Holocaust memory in Israel, religious populism in Israel and the United States, the Likud party's popular appeal, the pro-Israel lobby in the United States, the role of diasporas in conflict, 
uh, comparisons between Nagorno-Karabakh and the West Bank, the question of Palestinian statehood, and the impact of social media and Facebook. I mean, a real diverse array of topics, not only a different, uh, a diverse array of topics, but also um, the students employed a variety of different approaches. So we had some that were very historical, drawing uh, extensively on primary sources, others that really drew on theories and were more theoretical in orientation, and others that were more comparative in orientation and really drawing upon uh, comparisons, particularly the comparison uh, between Israel and Armenia and between the conflicts between um, and Nagorno-Karabakh and the West Bank. So um, I think it really, you know, what we've heard really demonstrates, I think, how um, diverse and varied a field of Israel studies is, is one of the reasons why I enjoy being in the field of Israel studies, because, you know, you can be exposed to so many different disciplines, sociology, history, political science, even maybe computer science. Um, and you can uh, draw it, whether it's in the past or the present, um, and importantly, not just study Israel within its borders, whatever those borders may be, but also look at the, uh, Israel as a transnational is issue in, in the ways in which the Israel in Israel and the debate over Israel-Palestine plays out in different contexts. So personally, you know, hearing uh, all of the presentations today and, and reading the papers um, makes me feel very optimistic about the future of Israel studies if some of you decide to uh, continue in that field. And I hope, you know, participating in this conference gave you a little taste of, of what it is like to be a scholar of Israel studies, sharing your work, getting feedback and having uh, and presenting your ideas.